Hello, my name is Dr. Mandy Deeks. Mental health is a tricky one. There's no test for mental health and actually it's quite normal to worry and it's quite normal to be anxious. One of the things I do know is that it's actually quite helpful to understand the difference between what's worry, what's anxiety and when does it become an anxiety disorder. So worry is that, you know, you might be concerned about something. It might be a specific situation or somebody. And it's unpleasant, but it doesn't interfere with your daily life. Anxiety, also very normal. We are built as humans to be anxious. It's that fight or flight response. But it's more, I might avoid a situation. My heart might be beating really quickly. I might be breathing really fast. An anxiety disorder is when those anxious thoughts and feelings really start to interfere with your daily life. There are some great things that you can do to help with anxious thoughts and feelings and when it does become a disorder. Probably the most important thing is not to hang on. I actually talk with a lot of clients and talk about internalising. If you hang on to things like frustration, helplessness, hopelessness, feelings of worthlessness, it has to go somewhere and often it builds up, builds up, builds up. So my first tip would be, please don't swallow, please don't hang on to those things. Find a way of getting it out. It might be talking to someone, it might be a trusted friend or talk to your GP. You might want to actually get your activity increased. You might want to walk more. We know from a lot of great research now that if you spend three times a week walking fast, 30 minutes, you will actually get those feel-good endorphins moving and you will always feel better when you come back. Another thing you can do is think about your triggers. I will often talk to clients about the stop sign at the end of the street. So you might be driving or walking down the street and you see the stop sign and it is a reminder and you stop and you go, hang on, I'm feeling really anxious, my heart might be racing, I'm breathing really quickly, I've got lots of thoughts going around, I stop and I go, what has just happened? Have I been eating properly? Have I slept properly? Have I just had a fight with someone? Do I have too much on my plate? Think about your triggers, write them down. So now you've been kind to yourself, the other thing is to be mindful. We often run around, we do so many things that everything just starts layering on top of each other. We need to actually take a moment and be in the present. So I will say to clients, what can you see? What can you feel? What can you hear? And maybe if you're having a lovely cup of tea, what can you taste? So you bring yourself back into that moment. These have just been a few tips and we're all different. So think about what might work for you.